Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author and trading you with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about GBP USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which is currently testing a quite strong historical support and demand area. From here, in fact, all this previous move to the upside was created. Again here, the market tested its zone and rejected it to the upside. Again here, again here. And what we can see is that lately the market a couple of months ago again tested this exact same level of very strong monthly support and demand has already rejected it to the upside and from here we could expect more potential bullish continuation as the market has already provided every time that it got rejected to the upside away from this level dropping down on the weekly time frame what do we see well from a weekly standpoint we can notice clearly how we just had a shift from a weekly bearish market to a weekly bullish market from a structure standpoint in fact we went from creating lower lows and lower highs then we had this horizontal accumulation and now the market is creating higher highs and higher lows so from here we could expect more bullish continuation to be created away from this level we can also notice that from a pattern standpoint we have a clear impulse and correction and in general after an impulse if you want to measure the correction you have to take your fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg and we can see how the market has already retraced exactly to the 0.32 of the fibonacci taken on this weekly impulse leg is currently rejecting it to the upside and from here we could expect more potential bullish continuation to be created away from this level Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily standpoint, I did speak about GBP USD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it when the market was here. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the upside. Then, after the market gave us that, after this impulse and correction, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this move higher. And from here, again, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we could expect the completion of the M pattern at the neckline. And by the way, I will link in the description all these previous analysis, so you can go and check them out for more free education. Now, before we continue with our analysis from a technical standpoint here on the daily time frame, let's first go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. Now, what we can see here is that with the last reports, we went from having minus 27.7k net positions all the way up to having 19.9k net positions. So institutions have been moving aggressively their positioning from a bearish a positioning on GBP USD to a bullish positioning. Now, in fact, what you have to keep in mind is that every currency on the spot is traded against the USD. So if you're checking the data for the GBP, you're actually already checking GBP USD. So essentially, institutions went from having more shorts than longs on the GBP USD to then having more longs than shorts. Here, in fact, we had 80,500 lungs from an institutional perspective compared to only 52,700 lungs. And we went all the way up to having now 68K lungs compared to only 48K shorts. So the complete opposite situation. So clearly, institutions are moving back to the bullish side for this pair. Now, from a daily standpoint, we have a clear impulse and correction as well, as we did previously on the weekly time frame. If we want to measure this correction, we have to take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 0 0.618 and 0 0.70, sorry, 0 0.8. 
if 5 saw 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements, lining up exactly with this previous daily resistance turn support. Now, this actually means that we have confluence of support at this level because we have both the 50%, 0.618 Fibonacci retracements and the previous structure resistance turn support all lining up in the same area of price. And inside of a confluence of support area, since we already see that we were having institutional longing, we could expect more institutional longing that would further increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. So how I could be approaching a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for hour and lower. Therefore, what I could be doing potentially is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to me one of my valid entries at that point, I could be looking for a potential move higher for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in description and in my bio. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies, you also have the possibility to get access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns, the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here, past the testimonials, you will see that you will have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign-up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible, and I will see you in it. The link is both in the description and in my bio. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, let me know in the comments below any pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos, and I will see you in my next breakdown.